Hi there, this is Christy Murray Gott. I'm going to give you a quick overview type tour of some of the tools and special effects that you can use if you download the free software from Picasa. You can use this for photo editing and for video editing as well. So I'm going to double click on a photo. And as you can see, a menu opens up. The first choice here is the wrench, commonly needed fixes. There's a crop tool, one to straighten, red eye, and a few other things. Now I'll click on this one that looks like it's a sun that's sort of half bright. And this is where you can click and drag to add fill light if you have a dark photo. See, if I drag it all the way, it turns white. And you can drag on this to add, make the whites whiter, add highlights. That looks pretty good. We'll leave it like that. You can click here to add shadows. As you can see, the uh, photo is starting to look like it has a stronger contrast now. And you can change the color temperature. Here it looks like a cool tone. And all the way to the left is way too much, but that's a warm tone. We'll just leave it in the middle. I'm going to click on this brush. As you can see, I could click here to sharpen it. I could turn the photo to sepia. As you can see what happened, and I'll click undo sepia. Uh, here's one to make a uh, warmify and that's going to make it have warm tones. I'll click Undo Warmify. This one says Glow, and you can intensify the glow, and you can choose a radius. I'll click Cancel. I couldn't see too much difference in this photo because it's already light enough. And we'll click the next icon, now this has just some different styles. You can click Posterize. As you can see, it turned the photo into a poster. And I can choose number of colors. Drag this way over or, or back the other way to make it mostly black and white. And I'll click Cancel to get out of that. Another interesting one is heat map. I'll click heat map and sometimes people want to make a, a novelty photo. I'm sliding the slider back and forth and I'll click cancel. And so there are a variety, cinema scope uh, and so on. And I'll go ahead and click the last brush and now here's an interesting one. It's called Pencil Sketch. So as you can see, it's turned it into a pencil sketch. I'll, I'll strengthen it a little. It's still pretty pale. So I'll, I'll change that back and I'll click Cancel. And now here's some interesting ones. This is called Museum Mat. Okay, as you can see that added a mat and a frame. And this says outer thickness and inner thickness. So let's make the outer frame thicker. We'll drag that over. And let's make that inner mat thicker too. And then we've got colors to choose for outer color and inner color. So let's choose a different outer color. How about a... We'll just click on a... Uh, well, I'll show you. As you drag the pointer across, it shows you the different colors that you could choose for the frame. So let's choose a teal color. And then for inner color, we'll click there. And as you can see, the same thing. As I drag the pointer across, it changes the colors so you can see how they look. And I went across, but also from top to bottom, it'll make them lighter or darker. So I chose a light blue. 
So now our photo has a frame on it. Let's go ahead and cancel out of that. We won't really add a frame. And uh, let's go ahead and here, this one's called Drop Shadow. And as you can see, you can choose distance, angle, size, and a shadow color. Let's go ahead and we'll make this large. And for the shadow, let's choose dark blue. Okay, and as you can see, right around here, it looks like the photo is elevated off of a mat because of this drop shadow. So that's the type of, of uh, effect that you get. You could change the background color too. We could make the background color uh, light blue or yellow or let's see that didn't show up too well. Let's make a light blue. Okay, so you can see now the mat looks like it's light blue and there's a little bit of a drop shadow so you get this definition. Let's go ahead and apply that and then let's go to museum mat and once again let's go ahead and I chose teal and we'll make an outer thickness and then for the inner color let's choose a Oh, that makes it stand out. Let's try that brown. And we'll reduce that and we'll say apply. And so there we've um, added a uh, matte, a drop shadow, and another inner frame and outer frame to our photo. So that was fun. And there are some other comic book borders, softening, and so on. But this just gives you an idea of some of the fun types of editing that you can do in Picasa. And as you can see, you don't need to know any code or, or be techy or anything like that. And so then if you want to save it, I click File and Save As. And then in the box that opens up, I usually go to my desktop. And then I would go and... Um, go to one of the files and open it and then give it a file name and click Save. And that concludes my brief overview of some of the special effects you can create in Picasa. Thanks for joining me today. Happy computing. Have a great day and I'll see you next time.